this disabled gaming reviews let's play it's best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on and to any epileptics out there please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures this DJR place party is also unofficially sponsored by boom and mini boom in air so boom and mini boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like dragon ball mugs alien figurines etc etc definitely check them out did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer? So if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now, with all that aside, please enjoy the video. by source and ladies and gentlemen this is it so um, as we kick off my intended let's play break and this let's play half like 2 episode 2 now this let's play project has been stuck in LP limbo for many um, for many many years for things like me hitting the reset button due to my um, epileptic epileptic situation um, demand for a max pain let's play instead that kind of stuff so uh, the wait is over who's joined me only last week. So to like to introduce himself. Hey everyone, now tells power all the way from from the planet Saki Hall Street here. Yep. So and here we go. We've got the 45 minute timer with the ready tells. Yep. Start the timer now. get you out of there. Ah. Let's hope this still works. Stand back. Here goes. Oh, wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than I am. When I couldn't find you, I could... I know, I know. I shouldn't have worried. Well, we should keep moving. I'm sure...
Days all over again. <laughs> Hope we don't get many more. Communication center. Let's see if we can get out a message to my dad. Dr. Kleiner and my dad are up north at an old missile base. I hope they're still using this frequency. They're trying to help launch a. Ah, here we go. Damn. What now? If I were to. Let me see if I can get it working again. Take a while. Hey, if you have any blinding insights into how to fix this, go for it. Not sure what I did, but it worked. Now, to check in.
White Forest. White Forest, this is Alex Fans. Do you read? White Forest, come in. White Forest, are you there? Alex! My goodness! Is that really you? Yes, and Gordon too. We're okay. We made it out of City 17. Alex, thank God. I can hardly believe it. Don't worry, Dad. We're fine. But something really strange is happening with the Citadel. Oh, yes. We've been monitoring the situation. The raw discharge of the meltdown has been focused into a coherent beam of portal energy. It's the Combine. They're trying to open another gateway. Yes. What you're seeing is the infancy of a super portal. If it attains full strength, it'll be the seven-hour war all over again. Except this time we won't last seven minutes. My God. Gordon, what if that's why they were sending so much data from the Citadel? So they data? From the Citadel? In the control room. They were feeding huge volumes of data directly into the core destruction sequence. Magnuson, did you hear that? I'll bet it's the Combine Portal Code. Yes, yes, I'm not deaf. I downloaded the whole packet. They've been chasing us ever since. Well, of course they have. You see, Kleiner, it's the linchpin of all of their plans. Well, I can see that. I never Somewhere said. in that sequence, they would have had to establish a connection with the far side. What you have there, young lady, is the specific contact code for the Combine Overworld. Good God. Now, if I'm right about this, and I have no reason to doubt myself, you are carrying the very code Dr. Mossman had hoped to recover. Now, how soon can you get here? Well, we'll have to get our bearings, but we can definitely... There is no time to waste. We'll need to step up the launch schedule. And now, as soon as you get here with the signature data, we'll encode the satellite and get the damn thing into orbit. Get here as quickly as you can, you two. Dad? Dad? You're breaking up. Come in. Dad, are you there? Dad? Continue surface sector sweep. Remote compliance. They're still tracking us. Seek passive signature imprint. Mandate sublevel restrictions. Come on, this way. has an old rocket up at White Forest. He's been hoping for the day when he could launch a satellite to tap into the old array they set up at Black Mesa. But getting a launch off while the Combine was intact? There was just no way. I'm not sure how they'll use a satellite to shut down that portal, but I guess we'll find out when we get there.
We're not alone. Careful up there. I'll keep watch out here. I am pleased to see at least you are unharmed. But the Alex Vance, her condition is grave. Healing her will require more than I alone can conjure. Let me summon my kin. My kid will meet us at a sheltered location beneath the surface. We must move her there quickly. I will stabilize her if the free man will provide us with protection. Let us hurry, free man. Help awaits us in the mine. Help with the um, ironing. 
botanically setting things up. So we are actually on course to restart the timer. We're ready to resume. Oh, by the way, uh, two seconds, guys. I'm gonna go close the door. Almost forgot that. Honestly, nah. You know what? I'll let you. One of the biggest advantages of using wireless headphones like the Turtle Beach Stealth I use.
Check three sales. Okay, so we've got 19 minutes and 9 seconds remaining.
Dai, senza un... I'm looking this up on YouTube. Okay. So we're in the timer, please. So we've got about 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes.
for a day. Gordon Freeman. The Vortigaunt said he was on the way. Dr. Freeman, Alex Vance is over here. The board's trying to patch her up. <sighs> Freeman. It is well. The Alex Vance clings to the margins. My kin are still some distance away. For now, we must not be disturbed. Yeah, well, about that. As long as you're down here, Freeman, maybe you can give us a hand. Let me show you how the antlion sensors work. Got some supplies over here if you need them. Health and ammo, that sort of thing. Hey, Freeman, come on over here. This sensor will light up if an antlion's coming down this tunnel. More lights mean more antlions. When a tunnel lights up, we move a few turrets in front of it. Pretty simple, eh, Doc? Hey, Doc. On your way here, you weren't followed, were you? Don, listen to him, Doc. We're on edge because this place is riddled with antlions. The board says as long as we don't step on their grubs, they shouldn't hear us this far from the nest. Yeah, well, that's a theory I'd rather not test. We're down to our last two turrets, and even these are held together by bailing wire and duct tape at this point. Nice to have them in a pinch, but I wouldn't exactly trust them with my life. Hey, Griggs, you might want to show Dr. Freeman where we keep the supplies, huh? Oh, yeah. Down there by the void. Everything you need for Doctor. They're coming. One light. Let's move. We have to defend the Vort. Duck, uh, you ever seen an antlion before? Swarm at 24! Come on, come on, let's go! I'm coming, I'm coming! 
today so next time hopefully we'll be able to get Alex Vance back back on her and back to full health okay until then see you guys later mm -hmm.